السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن نبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد فإني أحمد الله سبحانه وتعالى وأشكره على أن هيأ لنا هذا اللقاء مع أحبتنا وإخواننا في هذا المسجد العامر مسجد ابن باز وأسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن تكونوا جميعا وذويكم ومحبيكم في خير وعافية I praise Allah سبحانه وتعالى and I thank him for allowing us to meet once again with our noble brothers our family here at Masjid Ibn Abbas in South Philly I hope that you are all well and your loved ones and your family members may Allah protect you and preserve you and may Allah keep us all firm upon his path. Allahumma alimna ma yinfa'una wa anfa'na bima alamtana wa zidna Allahumma ilma. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us beneficial knowledge. We ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala to aid us and help us to implement the knowledge we receive. And we ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase us in knowledge. Inshallah ta'ala in this day, the 23rd of the year 1443 of the Hijra, which is in agreement with the 22nd of uh, June of the year 2022. Inshallah we will share with you uh, once again about this important topic and we'll know a topic. We have heard about it many times. Actually, seminars were conducted about it. وَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَاتٍ فَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ We we'll bring it again because we need it all. We all need the reminder. And the reminder benefit the believers. And it is about the Tawbah, Fadl Tawbah. The importance of a Tawbah. Repentance. And we as Muslims, alhamdulillah, we should never ever despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. هذا شيخ من الوالد شيخ صالح الفوزان حفظه الله تعالى ومتعه بالصحة والعافية وغفر له لوالديه وللمسلمين والمسلمات أمين إن ابن آدم مخلوق ضعيف رياضي شيخ صالح الفوزان he says and he reminds us of reality that the son of Adam is a weak creature we are weak ومع ذلك قد حف به أعداء كثيرون من شياطين الجن والإنس يحسنون له القبيح ويقبحون في نظره الحسن We weak as it is That's a problem <clears throat> Add to that We are surrounded by many enemies From the devils شياطين among the jinn and the human beings their main goal is to make ugly to us that which Allah has made beautiful for us. That's what the shayateen they do. And all the ugly things and despicable things, the shayateen, they find a way to make it look beautiful for us. It's like someone who want to sell you a rotten cake. What they do, they put the best icing on it. But you have to see beyond the icing okay likewise we all know the plus of the shayateen and the shaytan al-adu al-mubin wa ma'a ha'ulai al-a'da shayateen al-jinn wal-ins nafsuhu al-ammaratu bisu tad'uhu ila al-shahawati al-muharrama subhanallah we weep shaytan and his army they never stop plotting against us and on top of that our nafs that cause the evil cause to fulfill the desires that are forbidden فهذا الإنسان الضعيف معرض للخطر من كل جانب 
And reality is, we weep, but we're surrounded by danger from all angles. As long as you're in this dunya, you have to be mindful of this reality. لكن, لكن, مع هذا كله قد جعل الله لهذا المخلوق الضعيف حصنا حصينا إذا أوى إليه رجعت هذه الأعداء كلها خاسئة مدحورة. With all of this, الحمد لله for الإسلام. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made a way out for us, a fortress, a high tower. If we get to it and use it to protect ourselves, if we use it as a shelter, <clears throat> all of these enemies, they will be ousted and driven away and expelled and turned down, defeated. وذلكم الحسن هو توبة الله توبة العبد عفوا توبة العبد إلى الله إلى ربه والاستعانة به سبحانه وتعالى This uh, fortress and high tower that will help us to go through this give us the strength that we need to fight the enemies It is a توبة عباد الله Repentance Sincere repentance by making the U-turn from disobedience to obedience. Repentance. قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في سورة الحج وَاعْتَصِمُوا بِاللَّهِ هُوَ مَوْلَاكُمْ فَنِعْمَ الْمَوْلَى وَنِعْمَ النَّصِيرُ And hold fast to Allah. The ulama of tafsir is to have good thoughts of Allah, have confidence in Allah, and depend upon Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, in all your affairs. Because He is your mawla, He is your Lord, and what an excellent mawla, and what an excellent helper He is, subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلِهَذَا فَمَنْ بَدَرَتْ مِنْهُ خَضِيَةَ أَيُّ وَلَحِبَّةَ أَوْ ارْتَكَبَ مَعْصِيَةَ فَبَادَرَ بِالتَّوْبَةِ وَالِاسْتِغْفَارِ وأتبعها الحسنة التي تمحها كفر الله عنه ووقاه خطرها. Therefore, remember we're human, we're not perfect, we do wrong ourselves, we have our shortcomings, our flaws, we do sin. But those amongst us, when they wrong themselves and they commit a sin, they disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they rush to repentance and they ask Allah for forgiveness. And follow the evil deeds with the good deed, he will wipe it out. And he doesn't have to worry about the evil consequences of those sins. And therefore, he's protected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the danger of sins. Yaqul Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi surah al Nisa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in surah al Nisa, verse number 110. وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ سُوءًا أَوْ يَظْلِمْ نَفْسَهُ ثُمَّ يَسْتَغْفِرِ اللَّهَ يَجِدِ اللَّهَ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا And whoever does evil, we do, we, we do, this is us, that's who we are. And whoever does evil or wrong himself, but afterwards seeks Allah's forgiveness, he will find Allah of forgiving, of merciful. Because these are the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Al-Ghafur, Al-Rahim. In the Tawbah al-Sadiqa, Ibad Allah, Tamhu al-Khati'a mahma azumat. Kama qala ta'ala fi surat al-Anfal, Qul lil-ladhina kafaru, iyyantahu yughfar lahum ma qad salam. Shaykh Hafidahu Allah says, Sincere repentance, wipe out the sin. Doesn't matter how great the sin may be. Like in this ayah 38 of Surah Al-Anfal, say to those who have disbelieved, this is a great sin, disbelieve, cover. But Allah say to the Prophet, say to them, those who have disbelieved, if they cease from disbelief, their past will be forgiven. Allahu Akbar. يقول شيخنا الوالي الشيخ صلح الفوزان لقد عرض الله التوبة على الذين هم أشد الناس جرما الذين يقتلون أنبياءه الله يد الشيخ يسأل شيخ صالح الفوزان حفظ الله سأل الله سبحانه وتعالى offered the توبة and called people to repentance those who committed the most heinous and despicable of crimes 
those who killed his prophets, people who killed, even killed some of the prophets that Allah has sent to them to call them to guidance. Those who also say, as Allah tells us in the ayah 73 of Surah Al-Ma'idah, Inna Allah thalithu thalatha. People, they say Allah is one of the three Christians. But still Allah, if they, if they repent, Allah accepts the repentance. وَيَقُولُونَ Likewise, they say, as Allah says in Surah Al-Ma'idah, verse number 17, إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْمَسِيحُ بُنُ مَرْيَمْ Man, they say, like the Christian, they say, Allah is the Messiah, the son of Mary, Isa a.s. لَقَدْ دَعَ اللَّهُ هَؤُلَاءِ إِلَى التَّوْبَةِ Allah has called all of these things, even though they're committing these great crimes, they're committing shirk, major shirk. Still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called them to toba, to repent, to cease from disbelief and, and polytheism and to come to a tawhi, to Islamic monotheism. قَالَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى كَمَا فِي سُورَةِ الْمَائِدَةِ verse number 74 أَفَلَا يَتُوبُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Will they not turn with repentance to Allah by giving up shirk, disbelief, and hold an accepting tawheed, Islamic monotheism, and ask Allah's forgiveness? For Allah is offered for oft forgiven, most merciful, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibadullah. ربنا سبحانه وتعالى الكريم الرحمن الغفور المنان يتلطف بعباده الذين كثرت سيئاتهم وعظمت خطاياهم فينهاهم عن أن تحملهم كثرة ذنوبهم على القنوط من رحمة الله وترك التوبة منها Our Lord Allah سبحانه وتعالى The most gracious, most merciful Allah who wants good for us, who's kind towards us, merciful, oft forgiven, in a, in a nice way, calling us who wrong ourselves, telling us that it doesn't matter how great the sins may be, to turn to him. And we should never let any sin cause us to despair of the mercy of Allah. We should never let any sin, doesn't matter how great may be, to leave, to leave off Toba and to forsake repentance. Yaqulullah subhanahu wa ta'ala, kama fi surat al-Zumar, qul ya ibadi al-ladhina asrafu ala anfusihim, la taqnatu min rahmatillah, inna Allah yaghfiru al-dhunuba jami'a, innahu huwa al-ghafur al-rahim, wa anibu ila rabbikum wa aslimu la, min qabli an ya'tiyakum al-adabu thumma la tumsa'um. Say, O oh my slaves who have transgressed against themselves by committing evil deeds and many sins, say to them what? Despair not of the mercy of Allah. Allah Akbar. This is great news, Ikhwan. Great glad tidings. This is never despair of the mercy of Allah. For verily Allah forgives all sins. Truly he is the oft forgiving most merciful subhanahu wa ta'ala. And turn in repentance. Turn in repentance and in obedience with true faith, Islamic monotheism, to your Lord Allah Rabbul Alameen. And submit to him in Islam before the torment comes upon you. And then you will not be helped. <clears throat> in الذنب مهما عظم أيها الأحبة فعفو الله أعظم إن الذنب مهما عظم فعفو الله أعظم والمؤمن لا يقنط أبدا من رحمة الله We should always remember this Doesn't matter how great the sin may be Keep in mind that pardon and the forgiveness of Allah is greater Doesn't matter how great the sin that a person may be involved in struggling with remember that the mercy of allah the pardon of allah the forgiveness of allah is greater and a believer never ever despair of the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala لماذا يقول شيخنا حفظه الله لان القنوط من رحمه الله من اعظم كبائر الذنوب 
because having despair of the mercy of Allah, someone who say now there is no mercy, no forgiveness, huh? because they look at how great a sin they forget about the mercy of Allah. Despairing of the mercy of Allah, the Sheikh Saleh says, it is considered one of the greatest sins. Kaba'i is the rule from the greatest of the greatest sins. Allah Ta'ala come up in Surah Yusuf, verse 87. إِنَّهُ لَا يَيْأَسُ مِنْ رَوْحِ اللَّهِ إِلَّا الْقَوْمُ الْكَافِرُونَ Certainly no one despairs of the mercy of Allah except the people who disbelieve. That's Allah has salam or afiyah. لكن يقول شيخنا الوالد حفظ الله لكن ليس معنى هذا أن يعتمد العبد على سعة عفو الله ورحمته ويتمادى في المعاصي والذنوب وينسى العقوبة المترتبة على المعاصي. مسجد شيخ صالح حفظ الله. After he brought some of a few of many texts from Quran and like. Why is meaning for the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet about the virtue of repentance and all of this? Then he said to us, This doesn't mean you hear this ayat, Allah forgive the sins, do not despair, whatever you do, turn to Allah with repentance and Allah will forgive you. It doesn't mean that now you say, Oh, this is how it is now. If I commit whatever sin, I, all I have to do is to turn to Allah and ask Allah for forgiveness. That's all I have to do. And then a person will continue plan for sins and persist upon sins and disobedient to Allah and forget that there are other texts in Quran and the Sunnah that mention the prescribed punishment for those sins. What is incumbent upon us, Yahwan, all of us, male and female. That we have to recognize our sins. We have to acknowledge our dis- disobedience. And we should rush to ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should rush to repent from those sins immediately. Yaqulullah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi surah Ali Imran, ayah 135. Allah. And those who, when they have committed fahisha, great sins, such as illegal sexual intercourse, or wrong themselves with evil, immediately they remember Allah. And ask forgiveness for their sins. And none can forgive sins but Allah. And do not persist in what wrong they have done while they know. We should learn this. We human. We try our best to hold on to the deen of Allah, to the rope of Allah. We try our best every day that comes, every morning. We try to be better. You say to yourself, I'm going to do my best. Be idnillah. I'm going to try to be better today than I was yesterday. But we're human. We face with temptations. Many things come our way, many obstacles. Sawarif, kathira, hunaka sawarif. Even we, we may want it to be upright, but shaitan has plans for us. But immediately, Ikhwan, as soon as one of us sin, wrong himself, you should feel remorse, grieve at that moment and say, a believer doesn't do these things. I shouldn't be doing these things. And turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Naam ibad Allah yajibu alina an nubadira bi tawbah. Fainana la nadri. Mata yahduru al-ajal. What is incumbent upon us, Shaykh Sarah al says that we have to hasten to repent and ask Allah for forgiveness. Don't delay because we don't know when death will come upon us. Because as we know, death is certain. Tomorrow is not for none of us. فَإِذَا جَاءَ الْمَوْتِ يُحَالُ بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَ التَّوْبَةِ وَتَفُوتُنَا الْفُرْسَةِ وَلَمْ يَبْقَ لَنَا إِلَّا النَّدَمِ حِينَ لَا يَنْفَعُنَّ Because if we delay, inshallah, one of those days I'm going to get it together. And when I grow up, when I finish my school, when I turn 40, this is how the shaitan gets to us. If we keep doing this, then, and the death come, that's it. Uh, 
we have lost the opportunity. We cannot make no Toba. Allah does not accept it. Nothing will be left for us except grief and sorrow. And we all know that's not going to be of any benefit. يود الانتقال الى الدار الاخره متقلا بالذنوب اذا لا تسوف يا عبد الله غدا اتوب غدا استقيم غدا كذا شيخ صالح حفظه الله صالح الفوزان says there is not a single person amongst us wishes to face his sins in your okay no one of us wants to see a pile of sins waiting for him on the day of judgments you don't, you don't want to see those things? Get rid of them today. You don't want to see sins in Yom Qiyamah? Get rid of them while you can. Don't say, inshallah, one day. I'm going to be upright one day. I'm going to attend the classes one day. I'm going to be serious about the Salat one day. Do it today. Repent today. Because tomorrow could be too late. Don't say tomorrow. Rep- Repent now, today, because tomorrow could be too late. Naam, ibad Allah, ayyuhu ala hibba. Yaqulu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi surat al-Nur, verse 31. Wa tubu ila Allahi jami'an ayyuhu ala al-mu'minun. La'allakum tuflihun. You part of Allah al-mu'minun. Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala address the believers. He says, and turn all of you with sincere repentance to Allah, O believers, if you want success. And the way of success is that we have to repent to Allah, turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincere repentance and ask for forgiveness. Now we, we learn so far about the importance of the Tawbah and that we are commanded by Allah to seek forgiveness and to make sincere repentance. But it's not a statement that we say, Oh Allah, forgive me. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayhi. And that said, without knowing what it means, without knowing what's the requirement that applies to that and putting them to practice. What is that? مدلول التوبة هو الرجوع من المعصية إلى الطاعة. What does it mean? Hmm? توبة. When a person is sincere, that that person make you turn from disobedience to obedience. A person leave off disobedience to obedience. Try their best, he or she, to do what is right. وذلك لا يكون إلا بتوفر شروط التوبة المعروفة لديكم. And it's not going to happen unless if we fulfill the well-known conditions for Tawbah and Nasuh. For any repentance to be sincere and therefore accepted and beneficial, you have to fulfill certain condition that is well-known to you, alhamdulillah, mentioned in so many classes, alhamdulillah. Awwalan al-iqla'u أولا الإقلاع عن الذنب أي تركه والابتعاد عنه وعن أسبابه كذلك المرسل إليه. For the توبة to be beneficial and accepted that the person who committed a sin should give up the sin immediately. Don't say إن شاء الله next summer after I make حج. No. Give it up now. You have to leave out the sin, stay away from it, and stay away from all means that lead you to the sin. Somebody struggling with alcohol, you should give up alcohol. Even if you have yeah, and whatever left over from that bottle of whatever it is in the in the fridge, you have to get rid of it. Get rid of it. Don't say, ah, oh, I'm finished, I already paid my money. Now you don't finish it, you get rid of it. And then you have to get rid of all the means and the outlet that keep you connected to that sin. Like such as individuals, you think they are your friends, but they are not your friends. People who call you to Fahisha and 
disobedience to Allah, then are you friends? You're making bad choices. ثانيا الندم على ارتكاب الذنب you have to feel يعني remorse I know you have to regret you have to feel it in your heart feel it that you've done something bad I've done something terrible وهكذا يحزنه ويسوءه ما وقع منه من المعصية ويستحي من ربه the believer who is sincere in his repentance likewise he's saddened by that bad choice he has made he's saddened by the sin he it grieves him and sadden him that he has disobeyed his lord subhanahu wa ta'ala ثالثاً أن يعزم عزماً جازماً على أن لا يعود إلى هذا الذنب مرة أخرى طول حياته likewise Number three, he has to be sincere as well, be determined that he's not going to go back to that sin at that moment. Allahu Alam, is he going to go back to it next week, next month or not? But at that moment, the person should be sincere and determined that he or she, they are not going to commit that sin again. And they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help and for assistance. Rabi'an, إِذَا كَانَ الذَّنْبُ الَّذِي تَابَ مِنْهُ يَتَعَلَّقُ بِحَقِّ الْمَخْلُوقِ فَلَا بُدَّ أَنْ يَتَحَلَّلَ مِنْهُ وَيَطْلُبَ مِنْهُ الْمُسَامَحَةِ Allah. So the first three, when a person wrong himself, when a person disobeys Allah, but he's wronging himself. But if that person now, he disobeys Allah, but he wronged others. Here is the fourth condition. He has to make it up for those people that he has wronged. Hey now. He has to ask yeah, for them to pardon him. He has to make it up for them. As in the detail, the shaykh says, إذا كان الحق مالا قد أخذه منه بغير حق اغتصابا او سرقة او خيانة في معاملة وجب رده اليه ان كان باقيا او رد قيمته ان كان تالفا. Now let's say a person has wronged someone as related to his wealth or property. A person took the wealth of another person with no right whatsoever. Take it by force sometimes. I'm stronger than you. Give me your money. Or he stole it from him. Especially when a person trusted him. He left something with him. Sometimes a brother is going for hajj. He's going for hajj with his family. And he may entrust someone uh, with his car, for example. He says, look, man, can I park my car? In your in your uh, driveway, because the brother have a driveway. I said yes, and he said here is the key for emergency, not to go shopping or Walmart. Just for emergency, the man was clear. I'm leaving this key for you for emergency. He didn't give him the right to ride the car. The man, what will you do? He will park his car and use the man's car to go all over the place. This is not the Can Can't do things like this. You cannot do these things. If, if a man, for example, a brother, go make wudu in the masjid and left his phone next to you, his tablet, and say, Akhi, keep an eye on my tablet. And then the man go make wudu, he comes back, you're all over like, Akhi, why you have all these pictures? Akhi, who tell you? Who give you the right to open the man's phone and his tablet? It's not permissible, if one. Anyway, if a person abused someone else due to their wealth, cheated him in, in a dealing, because some people, they do that. Oh, give me your money, man. We're going to invest this on good investor. And they take people's money and they don't want to give it back. Okay? They don't want to give it back. Yeah, I have these cars, man. I'm, I'm, I'm selling cars. Or maybe, I don't know, whatever they're doing, inshallah, ta'ala, and they don't give it. 
if they are wrong in those people, they are wrong in them, then they have to give back whatever they've taken from them. If they still have it, they give it back. They make it up for them. If that which they had taken from somebody was destroyed and ruined, they have to give them something instead. And never say something insignificant. We have sometimes people, they argue and they say, give, okay, give me my money back. Say, hey, come on, it's, it's $20, it's significant. It may be significant for you, but it's not. If someone borrow money, he has to give it back. Don't just say it's insignificant. If it's insignificant, why did you borrow it in the first place? Why you borrow something insignificant? Now it's insignificant because it's, it's time for you to, to give it back. It's very important, Yahuan, for us to do these things. وَإِذَا كَانَ الْحَقُّ غَيْرَ مَالِي كَانَ اسْتَطَالَ فِي عِرْضِهِ بِغِيبَةٍ أَوْ نَمِيمَةٍ أَوْ سَبٍ أَوْ شَتْمٍ وَجَبَ عَلَيْهِ أَنْ يَسْتَسْمِحَهُ إِنْ أَمْكَنْ أَوْ يَدْعُوَ لَهُ إِذَا لَنْ يُمْكِنَ التَّحَلُّ الْمِنْهُ أَيْ مَاتَ الرَّجُلُ وَلَمْ يَجِدْهُ مَثَلًا The Sheikh says now, if the right is not related to, to wealth or money, like a person backbited somebody, and وَقَلَّ مَنْ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَسْلَمُ مِنْ هَذَا this, 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 this one here, backbiting people, speaking bad about people, insulting people, abusing people in their, in their honor. Few people that are saved from that, and may Allah make us from the main. It's easy to backbite. It may be difficult to steal or to, to, to destroy someone's property, but it's so easy to backbite thousands of people. Easy to insult people. Easy. Illa min rahim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So how you make it up for such a person? He said, if you know them, you go to them. And say, look, I said things about you. Please forgive me. Yes, I did something for you. For I, was, I was said something about you. I, I, I have tatuka in many gatherings. Please forgive me. Sheikh Rahatimini says, but this is for a person who, a good person person that he's not going to give you a hard time or trouble but if a person you know <laughs> he's a man he's a difficult person if you go to him and say look i said this and he's going to make it even worse for you let's make dua for them the same way if if a, if, a, if you if we backbite some some people and we couldn't find them now they dead or they gone they move out and we couldn't find them there is no way to get to them. We make dua for them and we mention them with good in those gatherings that we have mentioned them with, with evil. وَإِن تَعَدَّ عَلَيْهِ فِي بَدَنِهِ بِضَرْبٍ أَوْ قَطْعِ طَرْفٍ أَوْ جَرْحٍ أَوْ جَرْحٍ وَجَبَ عَلَيْهِ أَنْ يُمَكِّنَهُ مِنَ الْإِقْتِسَاسِ مِنْهُ بِقَدْرِ مَظْلَمَتِهِ إِنْ شَاءَ صَاحِبُ الْإِقْتِسَاسِ أَوْ يَعْفُ عَنْهُ إِنْ شَاءَ الْعَفُ Likewise, it says. You may strike somebody, cause injury to someone. Okay? You have to make it up for them. You go to them and say, look, I, I hate you. I cause you injury. Here I am. Please forgive me. If he forgive you, alhamdulillah. If he says, look, I forgive you with the condition. I have to hit you too. You hit me. I have to do the same. The just retaliation. All he can forgive him, and forgiving Yahwan is, is a great uh, uh, act, and, and, and there is a great reward for those who forgive. Rawa al-Imam al-Bukhari fi sahihi an Nabi Huraira radiyallahu anhu, an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal, Imam al-Bukhari rahimahu wa ta'ala, collected in his sahih on the authority of Abu Huraira radiyallahu anhu, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, man kanat inda anyone has wronged anyone in this dunya as it relates to his honor or anything from his world and property he should make it up for him ask him to pardon you and forgive you before the day meaning the day of judgment 
and metals are not going to be sold through currencies, through gold and silver. You're not going to be trying to give people something in your market to forgive you. Do it in this dunya. How matters are settled in your Murqiyama? In kana lahu amalun salih, akhada minhu bi qadri madlamatihi, wa in lam yakun lahu hasanat, akhada min sayyati sahibihi, fa humilat alayhi. Now, how the matter is going to be settled on your Murqiyama? Yeah, in this dunya, Shaykh al Thaymin, he says, if you wrong anybody and you speak ill about him, you backbited him and the like, and you go to him, he didn't want to forgive you. So I'm forgiving you. You caused a lot of harm. I went through a lot of things. Then he asked for something to be given. You give it to him. You mean he asked for some money. Give it to him. It's good to give money. Then you give your own good deeds in Yom al -Qiyama. Because in Yom al -Qiyama, if we don't make it up to those people in this dunya, we're going to face them in the day of judgment. And they're going to take from our good deeds. And if we run out of good deeds, that's Allah Salamu Alafia, will be taken from their evil deeds and will be thrown in the hellfire. That's Allah Salamata Ulafia. But Takullah Ayu al Ikhwa, Wabadi Rubi Toba Kabla Fawati Awaniha. It is incumbent upon us, once again, the Shaykh, to hasten to repentance, to hasten to make Toba Nasur, sincere repentance, before the opportunity is gone. فإن الأعمار محدودة والمهلة مقدرة ولكل أجر كتاب والموت آت وكل ما هو آت فهو قريب. He says, why we have to do it today? Don't wait until tomorrow. Because you don't know if you're going to see tomorrow. Now, the opportunity you have today, it may not be presented for you tomorrow. Every one of us will die. Death is coming. And anything that coming towards you get nothing but closer to you. Fala to sawir, huh? What a kurana astaqim, huh? Astaqim. Al motula yan tadiru kayafi had tata staqim. Istaqim wa anta tantadiru mot. Al motula yan tadiru ahad and had tayas taqim. It is a al mot ma vijay. Some people they say, oh, Inshallah, I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna be righteous, I'm gonna get it together one day. Inshallah ta'ala, one day, ten years later, he's still repeating the same thing. I get it together. I will be a better husband, inshallah. I will be a better father, I will be a better uh, brother, neighbor, this, that. So yeah, death is not gonna wait for you until you get it together. Angel of death they ain't gonna give you time to go and get it together. Get your affairs together while you're waiting for that. وَفَقَنِ اللَّهُ وَإِيَّاكُمْ لِلْتَوْبَةِ النَّصُوحِ وَالْعَمَلِ الصَّالِحِ أَقُولُ هَذَا وَأَسْأَلُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمُ التَّوْفِيقَ وَالسَّدَادِ وَنِرْزُقَنَا وَإِيَّاكُمْ وَيَمُنَّ عَلَيْنَا وَعَلَيْكُمْ بِالتَّوْبَةِ النَّصُوحِ وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَّمَ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا